Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. My name's Steve and that's Howie. We're out today in a small little conservation area, uh, what they use for coppicing. Uh, what that means is they've got small trees like you can see behind me and they grow them to a certain height and then they chop them down and they use them for fences like you can see behind me, walking sticks, possibly charcoal, stuff like that. So uh, it's quite interesting in, in here for the fact that it's all fenced off and there's no like new forest ponies, um, cows, sheep, pigs, anything like that. The only thing you'll really find in here is like rabbits and badgers. So it's been uh, fenced off to all that so everything can naturally grow. And uh, as you can see, we've got lots and lots of bluebells all over the place in here. It is bluebell season, so I thought I'd come out and shoot the bluebells. What I will be doing is uh, just using my 10 mil lens. That's the only lens I bought with me today. Normally when I do woodland photography, I've got my 18 to 140 mil, which you can really zoom in and get some compression on. But I thought I'd leave them at home. The only lens I've got is my uh, 10 to 24 today. So I'll be getting down low, possibly trying to get some uh, images of the bluebells looking up, things like that. And uh, I'll take a wander around now. See you in a minute. Right, first image of the day. I'm just waiting for the sun to uh, pop out behind those clouds at the moment, but I'll talk you through the image before it does. So on the left hand side, we've got this beautiful fence made of the coppice wood that obviously they grow around here so that will incorporate where we are on the right hand side we've got this pathway so and in the middle we've got this blanket of bluebells now obviously the further down you come we can make it work with the 10 mil so i'm just going to pop this back on here and i'll talk you through the settings so we've got 1 15th of a second, F11, ISO 100. I'm just gonna make sure that we are nice and sharp. Yep. Put it on manual focus. So let's just take a look. There we go, let's come back out of there. And what I don't wanna do is get any of the sky in. It's gonna be a lot harder to shoot with a 10 mil because obviously it takes up so much of the frame that you could get the sky in. But you've got a very tiny bit in the top there. I'm not really fussed about and we're more concentrating on what's right in front of us and let it lead out with the fence on one side and the path on the other. There we go. I will let you know now that all the bluebells are not treading on anything. You have to be very careful when you go to somewhere like this because obviously it's a conservation area. So I have come in through a pathway at the back there and then it's presented me with a lovely uh, view of the bluebells from this angle. Right, so we'll be focused stacking this image. Um, we have got three focal points. We're going to use this one just here the closest point we're only talking about 30 centimeters away from a lens next one about four oh, meter and a half and then another one for about three meters further back in the distance so we're going to zoom in on the first one let's get to there let's just make sure that is sharp that's good that's the first one and we zoom in again this time we are going to go right in the middle of the image let's just zoom in on that make sure that is nice and sharp that's it and then what we're going to do is we're going to do one more right in the distance so we go up a bit further just past that log there just because there's a path at the back there so we just want to get that nice and sharp as well so i'll bring that in make sure that looks good and this way we can have a nice sharp image throughout the entire picture 
Right, let's see what that looks like. Of some bluebells and then I'm just gonna switch it up a bit and try and take some pictures with the 10 mil possibly something a bit higher possibly like um, an entire scene of the woodland something like that so I'm just in search now very carefully not to tread on any bluebells I'm just gonna search for my last of my bluebell images ah oh, here we are so very carefully walk through this pathway and I'll show you what image I've managed to find. Come on, Howie. Good boy. Right, there we go. So, what we've got in front of us is this beautiful tree that's growing at a 45, no, 90 degree angle. We've got some 45s behind as well, but they're all covered in moss. Really vibrant colours. Got a little bit of sun coming out as well. And obviously, as you can see in front, we've got some bluebells. Um, I'm going to set up now, and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to take this, because possibly I could get it from some angle like this, with there's some moss on the ground as well, where there's um, a branch that's fallen down, and then let it lead all the way up and use this as a background, because it is catching the light really well. Um, when you do get moss on trees, they do catch the light, whether it's harsh light or soft light. We've got some soft light going on at the moment. You can see it's just, sun's barely breaking through at the moment. So it's quite a soft, gentle light. I'm gonna set up now and then I'll talk you through the image. Right now, I've set the tripod up, as you can see. It's about a foot off the ground. Uh, we've decided to go at about 15 mil this time. So it's still quite wide. Um, just so I just don't want to get too much in because if I get too much in we've got the sky at the top there if we get the sky in and it's not making for a very good image I just want it all to be about the foreground and basically the the forest floor in this image so I'll show you where I'm going to focus to start with I'm going to focus on those bluebells there let me just get them into focus there we go zoom back out a sec and I'll take that image. It's a uh, tenth of a second, F11, so it's sharp all the way through the image, and ISO 100. And we, like I say, it's 15 mil. All that sun's coming out lovely now. I'm going to just stay here and take a few more shots of this because we are getting some really fantastic light. That sun's coming through now. Everything's being illuminated, and I'm getting very excited. It is going to work out to be a really good image, this. Uh, I'll pop it up now for you. Hope you like it. Right, now I've got all those bluebell shots in the bag. I have decided to come out on this long pathway. As you can see, everything is just really nice lime green. Everything's got that really brand new spring feel about it. Uh, and every time the sun comes out, everything just pops. It's really, really colorful out here. It's gonna be a little bit hard to edit these images because you'll be thinking, hang on a minute, they are super bright greens, but it is what it is. Um, I can't, I don't really want to dull down the pictures when I edit them. I will keep them exactly, we'll keep the colors of the green exactly as I see them. So I'm going to take a walk around now. Um, what I normally do is somewhere like here, I like to shoot with my 18 to 140 to get a nice zoomed in image. But here, I will be, like I said, I'll be using my uh, ultra wide lens 
and I'm going to see if I can utilize that in any way I can to try and capture some images in this path. Well, I think this image might work, but it has to work with the sun out in order to illuminate all the leaves and everything. So what I've done, I've decided to put my camera on a tripod, but it quite low down, as you can see. We're at 10 mil, um, 1 13th of a second, F11, ISO 100. And what I've tried to do is incorporate a tiny bit of this tree as it's coming down. We've got some moss on the ground, so we've got to use this as a foreground and then we're going to let it go all the way up as far as we can. We are going to get um, some of the sky in the image, but on this particular image, this is what I want, actually. apologize if there's a little bit of wind noise going on um, I've just come out of the, um, the bluebell forest that I was in and now I've made it out onto the plain as you can see behind me it's all just heathland out here um, it's coming up to 12 o'clock so it's midday um, I think I've planned this just right they said there's going to be a bit of a storm rolling in at about midday and the wind has picked up they said about 40 mile an hour gusts so best be safe and get out of the forest I don't want anything falling on my head it might hurt so I'm gonna have a wander around here um, what I am looking for now still with the 10 mil lens is big skies with possibly one two maybe three trees in the foreground and then shooting up high uh, see if I can get some nice moody clouds going on and obviously if the winds picked up we can also use a 10 stop uh, filter as well to get some movement in the sky uh, just going to take a wander around now I've got about 20 minutes just before this storm's going to roll in and as you can see that's what I've got to deal with <laughs> found the image that I'm looking for sorry about the wind noise it is absolutely blowing a gale because we're obviously we're on a big heathland and the wind is just whipping across this place uh, best thing I can do is to show you it see behind me there I've got one tree there one tree there and another tree over there uh, what I'll be hoping to do is get all three of them in and get some moody images as well with the clouds whizzing by probably with a 10 stop uh, I'll take these now before it gets even windier. Alright, I think I better call it a day now. The wind has picked up so much I've had to hide behind a bush. As you can see, that it's absolutely blowing a gale. 30, 40 mile an hour winds they predicted, and they're not wrong. So I think I'll uh, call it a day before the rain comes down as well. If you have liked the video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.